And that breaking news we are tracking from the Las Vegas Raiders this evening. Mike Mayock is out as general manager. Good evening to you. Thank you for joining us on 8 News Now at 5. I'm Brian Loftus. And I'm Denise Valdez. So we have team coverage on big changes for the silver and black. Let's get right over to sports director Chris Matthews with this giant move tonight, Chris. All right, now two days after the Raiders were bounced from the playoffs, the team making a huge move today. After three years, Raiders have fired general manager Mike Mayock. The organization making the announcement this afternoon. Here is their statement. We have relieved Mike Mayock of his duties as general manager of the Las Vegas Raiders. We thank Mike for his contributions over the last three years and helping to form the foundation for the franchise to build upon its future. Mayock was handpicked by John Gruden. During his tenure as general manager, his team was one game above 500, 25 wins, 24 losses. As GM, he was in charge of personnel and assessing player talent. Here are the first round players picked by Mayock and Gruden over the last three years. Cleland Farrell, Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Abram, Damon Arnett, Henry Ruggs, and Alex Leatherwood. Certainly by high first round standards, most of them would be considered at best at this point misses. That certainly uh, could change though. To his credit, he did hit on a few late round guys like Max Crosby, Hunter Renfro, Trayvon Merrick, Nate Hobbs, and Divine Diablo. Mayock was helpful in bringing in free agents Yannick Ngakwe and Denzel Perryman. He was also hired to replace Reggie McKay Kenzie just four years ago. Now with more on the head coach, Rich Basachi, and who knows his status, even he's not sure tonight. Here's Kevin e. Martin. Yeah, Chris, it's going to be one busy offseason for the Raiders, that's for sure. And first things first is naming a long-term head coach after Saturday's season-ending loss. Derek Carr and Max Crosby and a number of other players heavily endorsed the current interim head coach, Rich Basaccia. Vegas went 7-5 and five under Basaccia to finish the season 10-7 and seven and earn the franchise's first playoff berth since 2016. And while Basaccia said he has spoken with owner Mark Davis about the position, he understands there's a process and Davis will be interviewing other candidates. Regardless, he said it felt good to have backing from his players. You know, that, what, what a great gesture, right? I, what am I going to stand here and say, no, I don't think that's great and I don't appreciate that. And um, it, was, it was never asked for. Actually, there, was, there were meetings that we had where I, I almost, you know, kind of explicitly told them, don't do that or you don't have to do that or that's not why we're all here and uh, so for them to do that um, I'm very thankful and grateful for that. So after helping guide the Raiders to just their second playoff berth since 2002, there's an argument to be made that he has earned the right to be the team's head coach for at least another season. So all eyes will be on the Raiders in the coming weeks to see if they do indeed go in that direction or start fresh and bring in someone new as Davis has an important call to make when it comes to the direction of this franchise for not only 2022, but beyond.